Do you have a 16 by 9 edit that you need to convert to a vertical video format? In this video, I'm going to show you the technical steps on how to do it, but I'm also going to give you some creative ideas to make your vertical videos look better. This video is sponsored by Easy Edit, who is also giving away three copies of their Hyper Graphics Pack later in the video. But first, let's have a look at the 16x9 edit in Final Cut Pro. To convert the 16x9 video into a vertical video, you first need to create a new project. I'll hit Command N to do that, rename this to vertical, and then I'll set the format to vertical and the resolution to 1080x1920. Make sure the frame rate of this new project matches the frame rate of your 16x9 project and then hit OK. Let's go over to the 16x9 project, select everything and then hit Command C to copy. And I'll go back to the vertical project by clicking on this arrow over here and I'll hit Command V to paste everything. You can see that the clips now have these huge black bars on the top and the bottom, but don't worry, that's a quick fix. Select all of the clips, head over to the inspector window, scroll down to spatial conform and change the type from fit to fill. Now all of that black space has been covered up. Next, you can go over to the position parameters and adjust the X value if you need to change what's being shown on screen. You can do that for each shot, but if there's one shot in particular where you need to follow movement, you can do that using keyframes. For example, with this shot, my subject moves in and out of the frame. So I'll go to the beginning of the shot, adjust my starting position and set a keyframe. I'll go to the end of the clip and adjust the ending position, which will then create another keyframe. By default, Final Cut Pro will ease between the keyframes smoothly. If you want to change that to a linear motion, make sure the clip is selected and hit Ctrl V to show your video animation properties. Click on the down arrow by transform, select position and right click on the first keyframe to change it from smooth to linear. Do that for both keyframes and now your vertical video looks like this. Let's say you have some beautiful landscape footage that just doesn't work when it's cropped into a vertical format. You can duplicate the clip by alt dragging a copy on top of itself, select the bottom clip and head over to spatial conform and change the type from fit to fill. Then go over to your effects browser and add a Gaussian blur to it. You can adjust the blur amount if you need to and voila, that looks much better than having the black edges at the top and the bottom. You could also use this space to add titles if you're posting to Instagram or you could use this space to add tags and captions on Instagram itself. Another thing you can do to make your vertical videos look even better, especially if it's for Instagram, is to use an Instagram story template. Something like these templates that you get in the Hypergraphics pack from Easy Edit. The Hypergraphics pack has 1,250 different templates that you can use to make better videos. Some of the categories include typography templates, presentation elements, title templates, infographics, callouts, transitions, lower thirds, backgrounds, other elements, sound effects, and social media templates. Easy Edit is giving away three copies of this entire pack to three of you guys. So please go ahead and click on the link down below to enter the giveaway. If you missed out on the giveaway, there'll also be another link down below to purchase it. Let's take the story template here and drop it onto the timeline. We have four different drop zones, so I'll add a different clip into each one of these drop zones. I have some other parameters I can adjust here if need be, and when I'm done, I have an awesome looking vertical video that's ready for Instagram or TikTok. If you enjoyed this video, do all those things that you know you want to do, like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon, and I'll see you in the next one.